So we have these herbs here that all of, uh, all of the wonderful ladies forage today. Since we were all there together, since our energies merged, you know, we did a beautiful ritual for Jane. Um, I was thinking we should make one poultice and one compress for all of us. We'll mix them all together, join the energy, right? So this way, uh, we are all connected by nature. And if all of you want to come over and, and just put your hands on this, so we are all in. We are all I'm going to suck the energy out today. No, no, so we're going to give you some. <laughs> we're gonna oh, this is going to this is going to make you right, girl. Clover has to go in there too. Mm -hmm. Did you... Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, let's get cooking. Is it a jalapeno? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's two of the an intro to me. get the bulb. Oh, look at this. Magic. I love this guy. Can I take this? Yes, of course. Being your caregiver. Because I know what to do. I know what I know what I'm doing. Okay, Linda. Oh, amazing fragrance. <laughs> you know what, what works best is those uh, stone, you know the ones they use for making guacamole? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a mocajete, that's what it's called. Yeah. What is it called? A mocajete. A mocajete. Yeah. I thought that was a coffee drink. Mm -mm. It's, it's the uh, a from mocha. Starbucks. From Starbucks. <laughs> Yeah, um, so uh, a mocha hede would be the best for making poultices. It's, um, you can see all the chips flying. Yeah. So the mortar and pestle. Oh, somebody, somebody got dandelion. Amazing. I did. Nice. That's Spanish. Yeah. Oh, smell it. Like, ooh, that's like earthy. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. We'll mm. make it more earthy. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that delish? It so healing. Like, it smells like rain. Oh, wow. Oh, it does. Yeah, it smells like rain. Oh, did Paige help? Can I send this up to Paige for a second? Is that the turmeric you're pouring in? Yes. She's putting in some turmeric and then. I need, I'm going to put in some cramp bark. What is that? A cramp bark is a herb that's used for muscle aches and pains. Oh, oh yes. Hence the name, cramp bark. And we put in a little bit of castor oil and some clay. <laughs> This is clay. So you can keep this again in the fridge for about a, a week or so. And especially when you have little children uh, and, and they come up with like lots of cuts and scrapes. You can just, or, or aches and pains, arthritis, like me, if there is um, psoriasis, eczema or if there is um, finger joint issues, anywhere, toe issues. Uh, most of us cannot, sorry? Knee. The knee, okay, the knee as well. Uh, the knee might, might help you better with the, with the compress. Okay. That might help you better. But with the, with the other issues that I mentioned, uh, many of us with chronic illness are not able to use steroid to bring right. the inflammation down, to bring the, the pain down. Many are not even able to use anti-inflammatories because there's chemicals. So this helps really well. Or survival training. If you're out in the woods, you know, you see some herbs, and if, if you have a big cut and scrape, just do this. If you have a handkerchief, just wrap it, or put gauze, just wrap it around, and just let him, you know, rest or watch TV or overnight. It's very helpful. Now, poultice you can put directly on the skin. 
This you can, yes. Okay, but compress, yeah. you put... Right. Okay. Because it's warm. Right, okay. Uh, compress, you'll, we'll make that next. You'll, you'll just make it in, um, into a little baggie. Okay. Um, into a little cheesecloth bag. And then apply the compress. So we have the, the clay here, which pulls out pulls out impurities. So what, you know, like for example, I, I always have trouble with this, with this finger of mine, right? So I would just, I would just put the coltis on, right where, where the issues are. And if I had a, a gauze, then I would just wrap it around and just pretty much leave it. Now I, I have a scrape here, right, from, from so each, I just put the poultice right on it. It doesn't burn, it doesn't sting, because um, I got a pretty, uh, pretty deep thorn insertion in there, so I was bleeding a little bit, and so it's open and raw, so it doesn't really burn at all. So if you're out in the woods, you know, you just have a few herbs and spices, you're okay. Uh, it's anti-inflammatory, it's um, antiviral, antibacterial, you name it, antifungal. It's all there. One other thing that I've used this for is, you know, it, it has to be pounded a lot more on, on that Mexican pounder you spoke about. And it, it can even be applied on the, on the forehead for, you know, heat rash, fever, eczema, psoriasis. It can be applied. One other thing you could do is, once you have a nice paste going, then you can get some seawater. But if we don't have seawater, then you can just get uh, a filtered water along with, along with some sea salt. Sea salt or Himalayan salt is fine as well. Put that in here and add some Epsom salt. And with that, you can just soak your hand in there if there's arthritis. That, that's very helpful. Many women I know with uh, arthritis from Lyme, they enjoy the paraffin wax treatments. But this, this works actually better than paraffin wax. In a paraffin wax, you, you do it and you bring your hand out, it's done. But with this, it gets absorbed through your skin and the benefit lasts a long time. Knee pain, right? uh, back pain, it's not practical. But knee pain and back pain, actually I think the compress works better. So let's, let's make, a, make a compress. Add some more castor oil to it. As you know, you can use castor oil by itself. As, as a castor oil pack. And I'll need uh, one piece of the, so we'll put some Epsom salts in here. Oh, that, can you smell that? It smells so good. Mm. We have some fantastic herbs in here. Linda, would you help Sure. Me? Make a small. <laughs> <laughs> Who has aches and pains in the knee? I do. You I do. do. Okay. That's all you do. Once you have this done, then you warm it up and you supply it to the place there, to anywhere that hurts. I use it on my back a lot, like the, the, the right side of my back, I have herniations and it's very helpful. Cool. Ready? Okay, Hatcher, careful. Mm. It's penetrating. Yeah. It has the heat. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more soothing, what would you add in there? Lavender. <laughs> Lavender. If you are using this for, you know, um, after mold exposure, or if there is a Babesia flare, and you're experiencing the shortness of breath, the air hunger, that's when you can apply on your chest. 
And that's when you would put in eucalyptus and lavender, both together would be, would be good, yeah. Yeah, so my, my mom used to have, have compressors ready for us all the time. You know, she would make some and freeze them. Oh, and, then cool. and then she would use them, yeah. That'd be great. I'm ready to go dance again. Where's that Bollywood? <laughs> Yeah, these, these are amazing herbs that we have here. They're, we just got them. They're fresh. It's beautiful energy. And what's even more wonderful is even if, you, even if your energy is murky, the herb goes in with good energy, yes. with good intention for you. It can change your DNA. Mm. Even if you rip the herb from the earth and say, I'm going to make a poultice now. I need this. Even then, the... the only thing the herb will do is provide you with benefit, right? medicinal benefit. So it doesn't matter if you are a harsh person, an herb person, the herbs always help. Of course, if, if the medicinal herbs are respectfully prepared, then of course the benefit is greater, but there's always benefit. So these, uh, our plant friends, our plant spirits, are the true essence of do no harm.